How to fix an unrecognized USB hardware device. Hey, what's going on, everybody? I'd like to welcome y'all back to another Android Pre K tutorial. Today's tutorial is going to be a quick fix tutorial, basically, going to um, show you how to fix the problem that I was having. Um, I had my hardware device plugged in the USB and I couldn't get Eclipse to recognize it, so I wasn't able to um, debug or run any apps that I was coding on my um, hardware device. I'm running the HTC Evo. Um, if you have a different device like a um, Motorola or if you have a Samsung, this same fix should work for you if your device is not being recognized by Eclipse. Um, I think what the problem that I had was that I did a fresh install of Windows and I was using the old SDK USB drivers that came with the old revision 3 and then the new one is 4 and I didn't get the like the new version doesn't have the old drivers for the device that I was using blah 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 um this is what the problem I was having you come over to your run configurations and when you set your target you set it to manual you set it to run like my device was not showing up here like right now you can see it shows up but Mine was showing up like this anytime I set it to manual and I couldn't test any apps on my hardware device. Which you can see I um plug in the plug in the USB cable right now. You can see it's recognizing my own device, getting the serial number, um, it's showing the target, the OS that I'm running on my um phone. And yes, I have it set up for debug and the status is the state is online. So everything is good right now because I have the um correct drivers installed. Now, some of y'all, some of y'all might not notice this problem because when you go to the um, Android SDK and AVD Manager, you go over to Install Packages, just like you're supposed to. The Google USB Driver Package Revision 4 includes most of the drivers for most devices. So when you install this driver package, most devices you'll be fine. But if you install this, just like I did, and you notice that your device is still not showing up inside of here. So what you need to do is you need to go online, open up a browser, and go to htc.com. Um, it'll go with whatever country code you have. And like I'm doing mine for HTC Evo. You could do yours for whatever HTC device, or if you have Samsung, or if you have um, Motorola, go to your respective sites and um, get the drivers from the actual company itself, the the OEM drivers. So once you go to htc.com um, go over to support and then right here get support for your phone and you'll hit this drop down arrow and then a list of all of the devices that HTC makes and they support will show up um, select whichever one you have since I have an HTC Evo 4G I'm going to select that one and then once you select it so what you're going to do is you're going to go over to the downloads tab and then the first one that comes up HTC sync um, the revision for your phone is going to show up and make sure that you download the version for your phone some phones have the same HTC sync version but just make sure that you download the correct one for your phone and you should be okay you can see that the last one that was put out was 9-27-2011 so this is real um, recent and just hit download download it and install it and then once you have it installed you'll probably see this tab right here inside the um, taskbar just check this out just right click on it open it and as you can see this is what sync looks like when you get it fully installed you don't even really have to use it I'm not gonna uninstall it because um, there's no reason for me to uninstall it. You can go ahead and try it. I don't know if that'll take away the um, USB driver, but I wouldn't risk it. It just sits there. doesn't take up too many resources. And as you can see, I do have my USB device plugged in right now. And since, I, since my phone is rooted and I have CyanogenMod running on mine, that's probably why Sync is not recognizing my phone because it probably needs to connect with Sense. And Sense and Sync connects with each other. But since I have CyanogenMod 7 running on mine, and I'm going to keep CyanogenMod running on mine, Sync is just not going to work for me. But I didn't want to use Sync anyway. You might want to use it. I don't know why. But 
once you plug in your USB device and you go back to run manual, you will be able to get your device recognized inside of Eclipse and then you'll be able to run applications on your phone again. Once you in, if you have a HTC device, your serial number will probably be some number HTC. I remember my old number used to be my old serial number used to be something something HTC, but I think since I have Cyanogen mod on here, that's why the serial number is um, just the generic numbers and then A B C D E F. Once again, it works, and I can develop, run, and debug apps on my hardware device. If you're using a different brand of device, like if you're using a Motorola, if you're using a um, Samsung, then download the respective software for that device from the OEM manufacturer, and uh, it should work out. If you have any other problems, just hit me up on the um, comments, or send me an email, or catch me on the Facebook, or on the Twitter, Android Pre-K, and um, I'll help you out however I can. I hope this helped, and until the next time, get back to work. Develop some apps.